Rivalries in WWE often go beyond pride or championships and turn personal. With that said, I've never felt a more personal, bitter, and gruesome rivalry than I did with Seth Rollins. The Messiah and his disciple Murphy attacked my livelihood and targeted my eye. That particular attack was unexpected. Once they took that, they targeted my family and brutalized my son, Dominic. For months, our intense rivalry continued to escalate, and I knew it was coming to a head. I desperately wanted revenge. At payback, we were going to show Seth and Murphy that they picked on the wrong family to mess with, and we were going to return all the pain they'd put on us. And to my pride, Dominic was going to show me that he was more than capable of standing on his own. I was surprised as much as the WWE Universe with his ability to perform. Wrestling against Seth Rollins at SummerSlam for the first time, that was his first match ever. And he'd done moves he had never done before. Positioning, timing, that all takes years to learn. And he managed to pick up on it in one night, teaming with my son for the first time. I felt like I was flying higher than any West Coast pop. We were going to overwhelm him to stop the Mysterio family that night. Nothing.
careful what you wish for, Ray.
was more relieved he was okay than I was that I was back in the match. But now, I was gonna do some work on Seth. So they had When I first started in this game, there were a lot of doubts about what I'd be able to accomplish. From day one, I took that doubt and used it to fuel my desire to reach for the sky and achieve everything I could desire in this business. Whether that meant taking to the air against fellow luchadors and high flyers, or trying to outmaneuver the greatest math technicians, or simply trying to avoid the biggest finishers from the biggest monsters. I was always ready to prove that I had the ability to not just be good, to not only become a champion, but to go down in history as one of the greatest superstars of all time. I've traveled the world in search of the highest competition. And while things didn't always go my way, I've made sure to try and turn every negative into a positive. When you have the entire world thinking you're in over your head, Sometimes the best feeling in the world is reminding them that you're exactly where you're supposed to be. After spending over 30 years in sports entertainment, I still have the same hunger, the same desire to show people that doubt me that they're making a mistake. I still want to win championships, and I still want to compete at the highest level. I just have the added benefit of getting to watch my son now walk the roads that I traveled years before. He'll face those same doubts, and hopefully I've given him the tools to overcome and prove people wrong. As for me, the greatest mask of all time, well, let's just say that this old filthy animal still has plenty of tricks left up his sleeve, plenty of 619s left to dial up, and plenty of lessons to teach the WWE superstars. I'm fortunate enough to say that I'm so proud of what I've done in the ring proud of who I've competed against, proud of who I've defeated, and proud of the records I've set. The love of the fans, the friendships I've made everywhere I've been, 
and the security sports entertainment has given my family, I couldn't have asked for anything more. It's no mystery that the love of the fans is what makes me truly feel like a king.